Hi, I'm Shannon Carner, the Natural Farrier, and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle your old faded horse halters. Here we have, you know, your typical horse halter. He's been wearing it in the pasture, and now it's ugly and faded. And what we're going to do today is we're going to change these and make them absolutely beautiful. We're going to actually show you how to dye these halters to make them just stunning. Now what you have here is a perfectly good halter, and I have completely disassembled it. So I've taken all of the buckles undone. If you leave any of this buckled, you're going to have a white stripe after your dye job. If you have a halter with a breakaway piece of leather, you're going to want to take that off because the dye is going to dry it out. And the second thing we've done is we have two pots of boiling water because we've got two different colors of writ dye. I prefer to use the liquid dye. It just seems to stick to the halters a lot better. You can dye anything from dog collars to lunge lines, anything that's cotton or nylon. The nylon holds its color beautiful and it actually lasts for years. So what you do is you get your pots of water boiling first and you can actually jam these horse halters down in there very tight into your pots of water, but you want to make sure your water is boiling first. If you put the pots in, if you put your halters in the pots and then start your boiling water, you could end up melting them. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose. Now I've chosen two dark colors. Dark colors work best. We have red and we have purple. You can always change the color of your halter to dark. You cannot go lighter. So you want to kind of work with your dye. We're going to do, with purple, we're going to do our darker colors. So I'm going to choose blues. These have a good base um, that will be good for taking the purple dye. And like I said before, you can jam them down in here. And then I'm going to take these lighter colors, just for the heck of it, and I'm going to put them down with the red dye. As I said before, you can jam them pretty good. You want to make sure your halters are relatively clean. I threw all these in the washing machine before I started. Make sure the halters are completely submerged in water. So if there's some sticking out, you can just add a little bit more water to it. We're going to take our dye and pour it right in. Make sure you wear gloves because this stuff will stain your hands and it will not come out for days. We have our purple, we have our red. You can use any color, but just remember that the darker colors seem to work better. There's no set rule here. Um, this is probably two gallons. This is probably three. And then I like to add a little bit of salt. The salt helps this dye set. Again, I'm probably using about a half a cup. And I'm going to be adding a little bit more water to this guy because it's not quite submerging my halters. And I give everybody a little bit of a stir. And I'm going to let this boil for about 10 minutes. And you can check if you want a darker color. You can just come back, pull this up with a pair of tongs, and check your color and see if you're happy. Um, if you want a lighter color, you can just soak these for a lighter amount of time. The longer you leave them in here, the darker they're going to get. And so um, occasionally just stir them. You don't have to stir it constantly, but just come around and shift your halters just to make sure they're not going to melt to the bottom of the pan. I have done a lot of these halters, and I've never had any fatalities, just maybe a little sticky spot on my nylon. But we'll be back in 10 minutes, and we'll see our finished product. Okay, we're back. I've let my halters boil for about 10 minutes, and then I let them sit in the pot for about 20 just to soak. Um, I poured these into my sink and just ran some cold water over them so we can see that they're no longer hot. This is the purple, and it looks really, really dark right now, but it'll lighten to a purple as it dries. And I wanted to show you through the magic of television. Here is a purple, kind of a wine-colored pu purple I did um, a few years ago. Actually, this sat in the back of my husband's truck for about a week. We forgot about it and tossed it back there. As you can see, it retained its color beautifully. This lasts for a really long time. So it's um, an excellent way to upcycle. And I'll let you guys take a look at the red. So they just came out really magnificent. This was one of the yellow halters. It was so ugly before, and now it looks almost brand new. 
So a few tips you want to keep in mind is to keep an eye on your halters as they're boiling. If it gets on your stove, wipe it off really quick or else it leaves a stain that takes a while to come out. And make sure you wash your pots and pans really well because I've made my family purple, purple broccoli a few weeks ago and uh, nobody was real happy with that. So just make sure that they're really cleaned. Um, for more information on our hoof care, hoof care products, and free videos, please visit my website at naturalfarrier.com. And for constant updates and lots of new videos before they hit our website, check, out, check me out on Facebook. Search The Natural Farrier. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoyed our video.